South Africa is home to almost one and a half million people of Indian descent, which is about 5% of the international Indian diaspora. Now we are proud to be South African, but we are also proud of our Indian connection. And the annual Miss India South Africa pageant is one of the ways that we celebrate this connection. Now it's time to crown a new title holder. And Mela has an all access pass as the story unfolds. This year's pageant reached its climax at the Lyric Theatre in Josie and the pressure was on to deliver a flawless show. Lighting and stage effects received a last minute check, closely observed by the owner of the franchise, Farooq Khan. Farooq, the Miss India essay has been held since 1990. How have you developed it since then? The pageant was started really to create educational opportunities for young Indian women. Today, of the 20 uh, contestants, 17 all have the benefit of a tertiary education. This is the contestants' rooms and I wonder how the nerves are. If I were them, mine would be shattered. Can I come in? Yes. Ladies, how are you doing? Hi. Whoa, look how glamorous you all look in different uh, stages of dress. Thank you. In addition to a number of costume changes, each contestant had a hair and makeup individually styled and pageant coordinator Preeta Nanhu had to keep a watchful eye on the clock. Preeta, as the director, you also work intimately with the contestants. How do you manage their expectations? Because there can only be one winner. We run workshops whereby uh, we need them to understand that this is not the end of it all. Take what you get from here, turn it into a positive, use it in the future. Right on schedule, the 20 contestants lined up, ready to make their grand entrance. And pageant producer Kamisha Maraj was proud of them all. Kamisha, what can you tell me about this year's contestants? All the contestants are absolutely lovely. Each one talented in their own right. A unique talent, you'll see it tonight. Each one is so dedicated and has worked so much and so hard for this pageant. Kauteng-based Shivani Govinda won the South African title in 2014, which earned her entrance to the international level of the pageant. Shivani, congratulations on coming in the top three in the Miss India worldwide. What was that experience like? Wow, a once-in-a-lifetime experience, so many memories, so many friends, and I loved every bit of it. Michelle also met up with some of the judges. Rewan, what are you looking for in this year's winner? I think it's the idea of finding someone who epitomizes the community of South African Indians, a very unique group of people in the world, and who will represent us the best on the world stage, but also to our own people and epitomize the values that we espouse. I'm looking for someone with poise, someone who speaks well, and obviously um, the talent show counts uh, for the most marks, so definitely talent. And somebody that has a lovely personality that can make a difference um, and represent South Africa over overseas. Dancers set the show in motion to Bollywood beats. And after a brief but anxious wait backstage, it was time for the contestants to make their first appearance and face the panel of judges. And welcome to the Miss India South Africa 2015. Judges, when I call your name, please stand. Please put your hands together for Varushka Naidu. This is Rekha Raujavi. Mr. Rinwamia. Miss India Worldwide, Stephanie Lohale. In the next phase, the contestants faced some probing questions from the judges. In your work and social settings, that being Indian confers any special qualities on your ability to function effectively. And what are these qualities? Good evening, judge, and thank you for the question. If I do not win the title tonight, I feel I've already made a huge step by contributing to my society and being a role model in taking part 
in such a pageant. The most influential person in my life, besides my mom, would be Nelson Mandela. Success is as determined by others and satisfaction is as determined by you. The second princess of the Miss India South Africa is Natasha Panadu. The first princess for Miss India South Africa 2015 is Sherry Ann Pillay. is contestant number 20 Krishna Priya Dasa congratulations you are officially the new Miss India South Africa what does that feel like I'm actually lost the words right now because um, it's an overwhelming feeling so it hasn't hit me as yet what do you hope to do with the title this year? To serve mankind. I think that is the most important thing I could do. And help people with their spiritual life and put a smile on their face. Krishna will go on to represent South Africa in Miss India worldwide. Stephanie, what did you think of the contestants? They were all lovely. All were equally talented and equally well-spoken and they were just perfect. I mean, to me, there was no particular winner because I've seen how all of them have worked hard towards getting here. And what can the winner expect? Oh, she can expect tons and tons of, you know, encouragement and importance from especially this pageant because it's a woman developing program. And I hope to see her next year on Miss India Worldwide and hopefully be giving her my crown. The girls are tremendous academically and artistically. I think doing tremendously well. Very good show. Very spectacular. I think they're stunning. They've put in a lot of hard work and effort and uh, there's definitely a lot of talent here. Well, we have our new Miss India South Africa and the next step is Miss India Worldwide. Since it started in 1990, we've had two South Africans take the title. And based on what I've seen this evening, I think we've got magic number three lined up. 